We're all stars, we're all stars compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. I'm the Crab Pulsar, a young neutron star. I'm Calvera, an isolated neutron star that's far. My name's Bela X1, I'm a neutron star as well. Sirius B, that's me, a small white dwarf as you can tell. I'm EBLMJ0555-57 AB. My name's Trappist 1, an ultra cool red dwarf star in sight. I'm Proxima Centauri, a main sequence red dwarf star. I am your son, a yellow dwarf that isn't too far. Alpha Centauri A is an orange star, you see. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star, that's me. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. VFTS-352, contact binary 1 and 2. Composed of two very hot brain massive stars that orbit each other, it's true. My name is Pollux, a red giant star here. Arcturus is a red giant star, I hope I made that clear. R136A1 is a wolf riot star thus far. I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me. Rigel is here, a blue-white supergiant you can see. I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red supergiant in class. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant star with mass. I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red supergiant this far. Join us to sing the chorus, now get your head out of the stars. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. We're all stars, we're all stars stars compared to each other by size you can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky we're all stars we're all stars our colors vary you know we're made mostly of hydrogen and helium here we go we're alpha centauri the closest star system to the solar system your earth is from Alpha Centauri is a triple star system. We're 4.37 light years away from your sun. We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which forms a pair of stars called binary. Alpha Centauri A officially Rigel Centaurus. Alpha Centauri B officially Toliman I trust. Centauri C officially Proxima Centauri. Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity Alpha Centauri A and B are sun-like stars We're the brightest stars in the constellation Centaurus by far Alpha Centauri A has 1.1 times the mass And 1.5 times the luminosity of the sun in this class Alpha Centauri B is smaller and cooler you should know At 0.9 times the sun's mass and 0.4 the luminosity shown we orbit around a common center or around one another so you'd understand better with an orbital period of almost 80 years by far and from a distance we're so close we look like one star I'm Proxima Centauri a small and faint red dwarf star you cannot see me with the naked eye though I'm the closest star by far I'm about 4.24 light years from the earth and I'm the closest star to the sun for what that is worth to 
discovered in 1915 by astronomer Robert Eins, I'm sure. In South Africa at the Union Observatory in Johannesburg. My Latin name Proximus Centauri means when this is defined. The nearest star of Centaurus, that's all that's assigned. We're Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to the solar system your Earth is from. Alpha Centauri is a triple star system. We're 4.37 light years away from your sun. We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which forms a pair of stars called binary. Alpha Centauri A, officially Rigel Centaurus. Alpha Centauri B, officially Toliman, I trust. Centauri C, officially Proxima Centauri. Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity. I'm a star called the sun. I'm the center of our solar system. You revolve around me as we fly around the galaxy. All of the planets in our solar system. They orbit while well, they follow me. 230 million years is the time I take to fly around the Milky Way galaxy. I don't have a solid surface, so made up of gases held together by my own gravity. I'm made of 92.1% hydrogen H2 and 7.8% Helium AG. I'm a star called the sun. I'm the center of our solar system. You revolve around me as we fly around the galaxy. My core is 25% of my total mass and 27 million degrees My energy is the reason there is life on earth There'll be no charge cause I'm totally free My mass makes up 99.8% of our solar system Nothing in our system's hot as me I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy Let's fly, let's fly Let's fly, let's fly Let's fly, let's fly I am the brightest so far William Herschel studied astronomy In the year of 1781 he discovered me I have an estimated age of 7 to 9 Million years, as for an estimate, that's fine I've exhausted my core of hydrogen fuel Becoming a super giant after I expanded and I cool I expect to end my life as a type 2 supernova Here is more, leaving a neutron star or black hole But no one knows for sure I'm classified as a blue-white supergiant star, how fun Which is a hot luminous star that's bigger than your sun 
I belong to the Orion constellation Locate me from the celestial equator From Earth on my run I am visible throughout the world Of this I am sure Located in the hunter's leg Of Orion I assure From the Earth my distance is 160 light years to be clear One light year is the distance Light travels in one Earth year 61,500 to 363,000 Times as luminous as the sun My brightness is so grand But I'll vary slightly in brightness Until the day I'm done I'm thought to be 18 to 24 times more massive than your sun. My radius is a straight line from my center to my circumference, which is more than 70 times that of your sun in reference. My surface temperature is 12,100 kK, meaning Kelvin, a base unit of temperature in the SI, I say. The next time you're out at night, look for Orion in the sky, look for the hunter's leg, I'm bright to the naked eye. My name is Rigel. A blue-white supergiant star In the Orion constellation I am the brightest so far My name is Rigel A blue-white supergiant star In the Orion constellation I am the brightest so far I am Beetlejuice, I'm nearing the end of my life One of the top ten brightest stars up in the night sky I am a red supergiant expected to explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so I received the name Beetlejuice in 1836 by Sir John Herschel, an astronomer and a great scientist I'm the second brightest star in the Orion constellation After the star Rigel, we're seen from any of Earth's nations. My diameter's about 700 times that of your sun, and I'm 640 light years from the Earth, that's quite a run. But my surface temperature 6,000 degrees in Fahrenheit, cooler than your sun's surface 10,000 degrees, yeah that's right. I'm so massive if you replaced your sun with me, I'd reach past the orbit of Jupiter, I'm gigantic you see. I'm considered a young star at just 10 million years old soon to explode into a supernova scientists say so i am beetlejuice i'm nearing the end of my life one of the top 10 brightest stars up in the night sky i am a red supergiant expected to explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so a red supergiant is an aging giant star that has consumed its core supply of hydrogen fuel that's what they are helium has a Accumulated in my core so well And hydrogen's undergoing nuclear fusion in my outer shells When my outer shells expand I take on a red color Because I'm cooler than I was I'm happy to discover Red supergiants are the largest known stars in the universe And I'm expected to supernova onto the next verse During fusion heavier atoms are created Until my core is iron That's when I'll run out of fuel without even been trying. When that happens to a star as massive as me, the entire star collapses and explodes as a supernova, you see. When I do supernova, I'll create quite a sight. Some predict I'll even look like your full moon's brightest light. The radiation I put off from becoming a supernova wouldn't affect Earth because I'm 640 light years over. I am Beetlejuice, I'm nearing the end of my life, one of the top 10 and brightest stars up in the night sky I am a red supergiant expected to explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so I am the Y Canis Majoris one of the largest stars known in the present universe I am the Y Canis Majoris my home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course. I'm believed to be discovered in 1801 when French astronomer Jerome Lalande locked me in my recordings begun. A red class M hypergiant's what I'm classified as. Now let's focus a bit closer on what makes up this star class. Hypergiant stars.
Fires show tremendous luminosities And have very high rates of mass loss by stellar winds you see My distance from the Earth is about 4,000 light years away One light year equals about 5.9 trillion miles I'd say I used to be the largest star in the universe you see Until some hyper giants like you ice got tied dwarfed me I am the wide Canis Majoris one of the largest stars known in the present universe I am V.Y. Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course If you wanna locate me while looking up in the night sky You'd have to use the telescope, you can't see me with the naked eye If you have a telescope, point to the constellation of Canis Major And look to the left to the Delta Star for Fixation. 990 million kilometers is my radius Aren't you glad you are paying attention and learning all of this? 5,822 degrees in Fahrenheit is what my temperature is thought to be I'm hot and extremely bright and If I replace the sun in your present solar system I would consume all planets past Jupiter like they were crumbs I am the Y Canis Majoris one of the largest stars known in the present universe I am V.Y. Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course Massive stars like me, we live a very, very short life I'm reaching the end of my existence, which is part of my strife I rapidly shed mass because I'm running out of fuel in my course Scientists think I'll explode into a supernova, but no one Sure. I am V.Y. Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am V.Y. Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course I am V.Y. Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am V.Y. Canis Majoris my home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course. I am UI Scutai, the largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I was in 1860 by German astronomers at Bonn Observatory. I was named BD-125055 until my second survey I was found to be slightly more bright. That's when I was named UI Scutai, the 38th variable star of the constellation Scutum Am I. I'm the largest known star in the Milky Way galaxy, but because I'm so far from Earth, you need a telescope to see me. I'm 30 times the sun's mass, but I have a radius more than 1700 times greater than the Earth's sun I span. I am UI Scutai. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky I am UI Scutai A red supergiant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I'm 9500 light years away from your Earth One light year equals about 5.88 trillion miles for what that's worth I'm known to be one of the most luminous stars And I am a red supergiant, I hope you like me so far I'm close to the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A Galactic center, which is the center of our galaxy I'm so large if you replaced your sun with me My photosphere would span past Jupiter's orbit As you can see, I've begun to fuse helium And continue to fuse hydrogen in the shell around my core based on models of stellar evolution 
After fusing heavy elements, my core will begin to produce iron, disrupting the balance of gravity and radiation in its core, and resulting in a core collapse supernova, which is expected in stars like me. Look for me in the night sky within your galaxy. I am you, I scoot I. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation. Am I? I am UI Scutai, the largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai. A red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I'm Stevenson 2 Dash 18 Red super giant star the Stevenson 2-18 is seen, also known as RSG C2-18. I'm the new largest star found by man you know, replacing UI Scutai and other largest stars shown. I'm a red super giant, the largest stars in the universe. In terms of volume, you just learned this in this verse. If Stevenson 2-18 replaced the sun in the solar system, its photosphere would extend beyond the orbit of Saturn. I have an estimated radius of 2,150 times that of the sun. Here's a bit more about me. My volume's about 10 billion times greater than the sun. A little fact you should know. Don't go, I'm not done. I was discovered by an American astronomer, Charles Bruce Stevenson, in I'm a red super giant in the constellation of Scutum. Let's see how far I am from your nation. I'm roughly 20,000 light years away from Earth, you see. I shine with 440,000 solar luminosities. I have an estimate of 2,150 solar radii. That's bigger than the star of UI Scutai. My effective temperature is thought to be 3,200 K, K meaning Kelvin. I have so much more to say. I'm the new champion of the universe, largest stars by size. Try to find me with your eyes when looking to the night sky. I'm Stevenson 2, dash 18, red super giant star, the biggest you've ever seen. The new biggest star in the universe am I. I am much larger. This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of a star and all its basic changes. I'm a molecular cloud. I'm a type of nebula. I have a high density and a very low temperature. This combination creates a gas molecular hydrogen. That's primarily what I'm made of along with cosmic dust within. When the force of gravity exceeds the outward push of gas, the pressure is so great that I can't help it and start to collapse, which is caused from a shockwave from a near exploding star. Or when two molecular clouds collide, now isn't that bizarre? When the gravity's too strong, I break apart into smaller clouds. Each cloud is a star's beginning in which I am very proud. Protostars are the name of the clouds that do break free. Let me introduce a protostar that was a part of me Hello there, I'm the beginning of any kind of star Let me introduce my 
it's up to you, I am a Birdo star. My core is not hot enough for fusion to occur. To achieve that level of stardom, that process is a chore. The first thing I do when I break free from my molecular cloud, I start to spin until I form this disc around me, you see now. As the disc rotates, I produce a strong magnetic field. Pulling gas and dust into my center core as I reveal the infalling gas releases a kinetic energy creating heat increasing the temperature in the center of me at this point I can transform into a hydrogen burning star which is when the nuclear fusion starts in a protostar this is when I cross over to stage 3 called Titori we play our different roles in the star formation you see this is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe a nebula is the beginning of the star before its birth the star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of the star and all its basic changes i'm a titori star now also a pre-made sequence star my job's to clear away the dust and gas and send it really far my stellar winds create bipolar outflows that decrease my mass till i'm a main sequence star my center burning nuclear gas now i'm a main sequence star now just like the sun you know for billions of years i will burn throughout my light show converting hydrogen to helium is how fusion exists it wants to blow me apart but has a hard time doing this cause of gravity of equal power pushing me in i'm able to stay burning since the fusion did begin there are many different kinds of stars throughout the universe go learn about them they are birthed. This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of a star and all its basic changes. This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution evolution of the star and all its basic changes. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know of course. I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet Maki Maki's a dwarf planet as well but didn't plan it I am Haumea, a dwarf planet in this group Pluto is a dwarf but used to be a planet, it's true Ares is a dwarf planet in this mix The Earth's moon is where your eyes are transfixed Mercury is here, an official planet I'm the planet of Mars, I'm sure you all know this I'm planet Venus, my size you may think is large Planet Earth is next, and the humans think that they're in charge Neptune's a planet in our solar system, wow Planet Uranus is here, I wish I could take a bow Planet Saturn has rings, if you think I am big Check out planet Jupiter, I hope you can be this is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know of course. I am the sun, a yellow dwarf that isn't far. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star. My name is Pollux, a red giant star, it's true. Arcturus is a red giant star, this I thought you knew. I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me. Hi, I'm Rigel, a blue white super giant, you see. I am Beetlejuice, and I'm a red super giant in class. I'm in Tauris, I'm a red super giant that won't last. VY Canis Majoris, a red hyper giant star. I'm UI Scutai, the biggest red super giant this far. I am the Milky Way galaxy, and you live in me. 
Let's all sing the chorus together with glee. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter On the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020 Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty Alignments between Jupiter and Saturn are pretty rare Only occurring around once in every 20 years but this upcoming conjunction's exceptionally rare Only because of how close we planets will appear It's said the last time this occurred was in medieval times And the year of 1226 was the closest that we aligned Alignments between these two planets happens once every 20 years But this conjunction will be very rare because of how close we appear We'll be aligning on the same day as the winter solstice On December 21st, 2020, the whole world can witness this If you live in the northern hemisphere, looking low in the southwestern sky You can see a shining bright shortly after sunset with the naked eye We'll appear extremely close for about a month ahead But we won't make such a close approach again until the year 2400 Typically Jupiter orbits the Sun every 12 years Saturn's orbit around the Sun takes about 30 years Every couple of decades Jupiter laps Saturn in flight Be sure to watch the sky December 21st in 2020 at night Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter On the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020 Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020 Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty